Fluori is about perpendicular and parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same gradient. Gradient is 2, gradient is 2. The blue and the green lines are parallel to each other. Perpendicular lines make right angles. And we learnt that if we multiply the two gradients together, we get negative 1 as an answer. Or I could rearrange that to be 1 gradient is negative 1 divided by the other gradient. So 1 gradient is 4, then the perpendicular will be negative 1 quarter. If 1 gradient is negative 2 thirds, then the perpendicular will be 3 on 2. Because negative 2 thirds times 3 on 2 will give you negative 1, because the 3 cancels with the 3, and the 2 cancels with the 2 to leave a negative 1. So, if I then look at question number 8, using this rule, then if M2 is perpendicular to M1, then M2 has to equal, this is positive, so it's going to be negative, and that's 2 thirds, so it's going to be 3 on 2. If M1 is negative 1 seventh, then M2 is going to be positive, flip it upside down, 7 on 1, which is positive 7. If M1 equals A on B, then M2 is going to be negative, and flip it upside down, B on A. So that's how we do 8 part B. Question 9, find the gradient of the line that's parallel to these. I need to find the gradient. So I'm going to rearrange that to have 4Y equals minus 2X plus 9. That is, I pick the 2X up and move it to the other side to become negative. Y will equal minus 2X on 4 plus 9 on 4. Simplifying the fraction, 2 goes into that. So negative 1X on 2. Therefore, the gradient is going to be negative a half. I want parallel, so I want the same gradient. So the gradient is negative 1 half. If I'm looking for the gradient that is perpendicular, I need to work out what the gradient of this is. So 5Y equals minus 5X plus 2. Y equals minus 5x on 5, plus 2 on 5, so negative x. Therefore, my gradient is negative 1. The gradient of the perpendicular line will be negative 1 on negative 1. Flip that upside down, so it's going to be positive 1.